ahead and call this meeting to order. Uh, Phoenix County Board of Commissioners will have a call meeting for the purpose of described below. Uh, at 4 p.m. today, August 25th, in Suite 160 Administrative Office Building located at 1 1260 First Street. So I now call this meeting to order. The first topic is a GIFA on the airport lift station. Ms. Faye, you want to take it from there? Um, if I need to, that is. Well, either you or Mr. Landon or I can do it. It's just the, it's just to authorize the commissioners to sign the GIFA application. Mm -hmm for um, the loan for the airport lift station and has a 20 year payout. It's kind of an amendment of the agreement. I think the amendment okay. isn't it? This is a new one. That's a new one. Yes. Yeah. Because this is the one that the airport has done. Right. Over there at the uh, airport, the horseshoe property, mm -hmm. only thing lacking on that whole complete project is a lift station. We had to move it at the last minute. So the engineering's done, um, the list, everything's been approved other than the, the, the financing and the funds available. We've got a $125,000 loan from GIFA that we can put towards that and we need to get a move in a second that we can receive these funds from GIFA, pardon? We have a $125,000 grant from ARC. ARC. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's going to help supplement the GIFA. Yeah. How much was that grant for? $125,000. So I need a, you're just wanting to move in a second for the commissioners to approve that, correct? To, um, the ARC grant? To, no, to sign the GFI application. GFI application? Yes. All right, I need to move in a second for us to go ahead, <coughs> for me to go ahead and sign that GFI application for the monies for the list station. It's going to place for all three signatures. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. The amount of that one is 525. What is y'all's pleasure? So moved. Okay. I'm moving a second. Any further discussion? None being all favor of those saying aye. Aye. Yeah. Uh, opposed, thank you. I'll go ahead and sign my document here in the down to item three under the CARES Act funding. Ms. Bay, you want to take this one? Sure, I will. Um, and I gave you all a printout that shows the numbers. This is just, um, this is from ACCG. They've been assisting the counties on um, getting these funds and documenting the, the funds so that we, um, that they can receive the, the second phase of it. Um, the state of Georgia received 4.1 billion from the federal government. And 45% of that was for local governments, um, counties, and cities. So that's 1.88 billion, and um, 650 million went to the larger counties and cities, the jurisdictions over 500,000 people. And then the local government balance is 1.23 million. That goes to all the other, all the remaining cities and counties. And on the second page, Pickens County's allocation. Uh, total allocation is 1,454,637 and the advance amount that we got, which is 30%, is 436,391. And um, the documentation to receive this, the um, ACCG's um, advice is to use the public safety. They're considering that public safety um, uh, salaries and benefits since March 1st through September 1 um, are 100% allowable because they, those folks have been dedicating most of their time to the mitigation and response to COVID-19. So that's that's the easiest to do. Our um, our documentation for the 35 for, for the 30% the 436,000 was a, was sent in um, I on the 18th and it was approved last Thursday Thursday and so Friday 
we send documentation to get the remaining, uh, it's a million, 18,000. And um, that's the decision that's pending right now. But we should get approval of that um, during this week. What are the restrictions, if any, on how we can allocate the money? Well, the restrictions are um, your documentation. And right now, the, for the first phase of this, the documentation, if you have documentation on public safety uh, salaries and benefits, that, that satisfies the requirements. And then what you need from us is the, uh, the approval for me to sign the resolution mm -hmm. to go forward? Resolution, yes. That needs to be to the end by September 1st. Let me read the resolution real quick. It's uh, just one paragraph. Uh, the resolution be it hereby resolved that Robert P. Jones, as commission chair, be authorized to execute this grant agreement pursuant to the CARES Act Coronavirus Relief Fund, as well as the acceptance of payments, including all understanding and assurances contained therein, as well as to provide such additional information to the funding agency slash grantor as may be required. I need to move in a second to, uh, to give me the authority to, uh, to approve this and sign. Second. I have a move in a second. Any further discussion? Faye, you got anything else you need to say on it, Mr. Lander? Okay. So this resolution here is what you need for me to go ahead and sign. All right. All in favor of number saying aye. Aye. None opposed? Thank you. that and then we go down uh, to the safety discount verification form Paula can you give us a quick overview on that one that's in regard to the ACCG uh, insurance and all we got yeah. for our this is in regard to the safety discount verification for uh, this is a form that we need signed and that's how we need to run it through the meeting to get that done and it's in regards to our workers compensation safety discount which I believe is around seven percent which is a a, a substantial amount and basically the form just has different things like we have to go through training each year have to do departmental safety meetings and um, have a, this year we had to add the safety committee and have meetings with that and this is just saying that all that's been done and getting you to sign this chair and this will save the county seven percent mm -hmm. on our total billing y'all got a figure on how much that seven percent is I think isn't it seven and a half? I think this year it was seven, seven and a half. It was roughly three thousand dollars. Yeah. Is this voluntary or mandatory that employees attend like the training and so forth? Well, actually, the it, we just we have to attend one training that LGRMS, our risk management company, um, provides a year, and but we do have to have a safety coordinator who is appointed which is still out and but they've advised us to leave it that right now until we can get somebody else through at least one of the trainings but yeah the safety coordinator does have to eventually go through all of the trainings and then the the new meetings that they've added the safety committee which all out has worked real hard to get all of that set up and we've, we've got that in place but to your point it is it is strictly volunteer for the county to do it we don't have to if we don't do it we pay we lose that discount. Yeah, we lose that discount. Any further questions? All right, I need a, a move and a second uh, for y'all to give me the authority to uh, to sign and date uh, this verification form. So moved. Have a move and a second. Any further discussion? None being. I'll have a little bit saying aye. Aye. None opposed. Thank you. Got that taken care of. Go ahead. And all right, ladies and gentlemen, that brings us down to number five, adjourned. <laughs> thank you all very much for being here. Appreciate the meeting, and uh, I want to thank the media for being here. <laughs> Appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for doing this. This meeting is now adjourned. Y'all have a safe weekend.